Hey guys, what's up? Bisectron here from Clash of Clans Manual. Here with that Q&A video that I promised you guys. And I'm going to be answering some of the questions you left me. Um, I went ahead and went uh, through some of my videos. And also to the last Q&A, which was a long time ago. But I wanted to take a few questions from there. Because I always encourage you guys to put your questions in there. Anyway, getting it started, I apologize for kind of how these questions are formatted on the screen. I uh, had trouble getting like the screenshot up there, so it, it slides through, but um, uh, you'll be able to see it all right. Anyway, the overwhelming question I got was about the subscriber clan. So a few people asked it. We have, um, are you ever going to reopen the subscriber clan from Random Dude, um, Hannah Snyder? Are you ever going to op reopen the subscriber clan? Are you going to open the sub clan? Start your new clan? All kind of the same thing, and I'll go ahead and cut away to the subscriber clan. So you guys might not have known this, but I actually left the clan open, or it's closed, but I left my account in there, my mini account, uh, just to keep it uh, alive, because if everyone leaves, the clan disappears. And it's a level 4 clan, so it's worth having around, because uh, I do plan on reopening that. Um, I'll talk about that in just a moment, but also, um, as far as my mini account, uh, I think I've had people ask if I'm still playing on it, and here it is, it just got wrecked by an attack. I don't go on it that much anymore. Uh, but I do occasionally, uh, every weekend or so, just to farm a little bit. And I'm actually getting it mostly maxed out. I have the king to 10. Golems are going to 2 right now. Uh, obviously, still have some walls to do. But I've been, you know, not that consistently. been getting it up a little bit higher level. So uh, if I do want to ever reopen the clan, I have a good account in there. Um, and the problem with the subscriber clan is I'll just kind of start from the beginning. Uh, it originally started out, I guess, as kind of a clan where I wanted to be able to have my own competitive war clan. Uh, by the time I started it, I was already kind of hooked on the war scene and uh, the high-level war attacks. So that was the main goal, was to just try to get some like-minded people in it who would subscribe to me. Um, and what ended up happening is I opened it in, I believe, April or May, sometime in the spring. Maybe a little bit later, maybe more like May or June, but sometime in the spring there, early summer, um, and I actually was surprised. I had a lot of people join it at first. I got like 15 members solid, which was surprising because um, even though I had a lot of subscribers, I had like 750 at the time, I wasn't quite expecting that many, uh, but I opened it up and a lot of people joined. A lot of uh, younger kids, I think, was the demographic I got, so... Uh, it kind of just became something where uh, there were some great war attackers, but um, people were kind of inexperienced, not taking it that seriously. And it was just kind of too much of a time commitment because I was the one, you know, coordinating all the attacks, trying to do the clash caller system. Uh, there just wasn't that many people who were really committed to it and wanted to make the clan a very serious war clan. Uh, just, And I had nothing wrong with people playing the game casually. I used to do that for a while, and it's a fun thing just to take wars uh, lightheartedly, but that wasn't the clan that was really intended for that. Uh, maybe that was my mistake. I should have just kind of made it more laid back, uh, but I, it was a little bit frustrating, so I went ahead and closed it, uh, mainly because of the time commitment, just because um, in order to keep it competitive in wars, I had to spend quite a bit of time on it, and I just couldn't do that once uh, September started uh, with the school year and all the activities and stuff I had going on, so... Um, as far as reopening it, it, I don't know exactly because I have quite a few subscribers now, so there's a lot of potential people that would do it, but um, I don't have that high of a viewer rating or, or of a subscriber view percentage, I guess you could say. So I don't have, I wouldn't say I have quite the amount of committed subscribers that many channels have. Um, a lot of it is people watch my how-to videos, um, but... Regardless, I don't know if I can ever start the subscriber clan over again. I, I thought about it for a little while, and maybe I will when I have time, uh, probably closer to spring or summer, but anytime soon is just not going to be a possibility. I'm just too busy with the account I already have uh, that's plenty for me right now. So I apologize for that, but um, stay tuned. I mean, it's possible that you know once things die down in the spring, early summer, I could get it started again, same time as last year. Um, and if I had a lot more subscribers by then, it would be possible. But I don't know. You know, who knows how much longer are we playing this game? So 
it, yeah, I, I, nothing soon is basically my answer to that one. Uh, but thanks for the question. Okay, moving on. Uh, DD Pro Hackers asks, do you have a console? And if yes, what do you have? Um, long time ago, but I kind of promised that I would try to address everything, even though the last Q&A was, I think, four months ago. Um, anyway, though, uh, I do have a console. I have the Xbox 360. Um, I never hopped on the Xbox One when it came out, just because you have to get all new games for it. Uh, so I have the 360 still. I don't play that much console games, that many console games. I play Madden and FIFA a little bit. Uh... I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I sometimes when the Black Ops games come out, or the Modern Warfare games, any any of the Call of Duties, uh, maybe like every other Call of Duty I'll buy. Uh, sometimes I get it for Christmas or something, and I you know play campaign or play zombies or multiplayer or something like that. I still like MW three, uh, Modern Warfare three, even though it's kind of old now. It's still fun to play multiplayer and stuff on that, uh, and and Spec Ops too. So yeah, I I enjoy. Um, some of the modern warfare games but mainly sports games and I, I overall i don't play that much all right moving along another one from the same person um a little bit longer um it's basically are you ever going or what are your plans for future upgrades and town hall upgrades um basically my upgrade plans that has asking about the new clan which i already talked about which would be my old clan possibly um but to answer the question about my plans for new town hall upgrades and just upgrades in general, uh, so where I stand right now is I have the max town hall 9. Uh, everything's maxed out except walls. I have like half of the walls, maybe even a little bit more than half at this point, which are the level 10 lava walls, and then the rest are the level 9 Legos. Um, then as far as heroes go, I'm at 25-25. So still have five more hero upgrades on each one before I'm maxed out, because you max at 30-30. Um, and obviously, yeah, I don't have a whole lot of time these days, so it's hard to farm heroes, um, going up very slowly. Um, so it's And especially because the, uh, the upgrades get more expensive as you get higher up. So definitely uh, it's going to take a while before I'm at max Town Hall 9. Now, I probably won't go to Town Hall 10 until my heroes are maxed. So I'm probably going to be stuck at Town Hall 9 for a significant amount of time, another few months probably, um, depending on how much I can farm. Uh, but So I guess right now I'm just upgrading Heroes and Walls on my main account. On the mini account, like I talked about earlier, uh, I'm the plan is just to have that go to Town Hall 9 once my main account goes to Town Hall 10. And obviously that only requires like a little bit of farming every once in a while. Maybe on a weekend I'll sit down and just do a boost for an hour or so because obviously the new one hour boosts are coming out in the update and that's helpful so I can just go on for an hour, um, do an upgrade and get, hop off and uh, that way once my main account goes to 10 I have one that, that I can play on that's going to 9. But um, getting into the update, I assume the new update from what I've heard is going to make Town Hall 10 uh, a lot more fun for War than Town Hall 9. It'll make it the new like three star game where it's kind of hard to get three stars, but it's attainable. Uh, whereas that's what Town Hall Nine is right now. Maybe a little bit too easy, you could argue, but yeah. So my basically those are my plan for upgrades. Just gonna keep grinding the heroes and walls, and then go to Town Hall Ten, and but that's still a ways away. So uh, yeah, that's basically what I would say to answer that question. Uh, moving along, we have Clash with Dursa who asks. Um, uh, congrats, bro. How did you grow so fast? I refer to the YouTube channel. And I, by the way, shout out to Clash with Dursa. I think he's been a long time subscriber. Uh, check out his channel. Uh, I look pretty cool. I haven't gotten a chance to watch too many videos, but uh, thanks for the question and for uh, being a long time viewer. Um, I don't think I'm that big of a channel, really. I have a lot of views. I think I'm at like 700 to 700,000 total views on all my videos, which is pretty significant. I have one video that makes up most of that that has like 400,000 views and then I have 2,000 subscribers which is also pretty big uh, at least in my mind I mean it's not big compared to many channels but it's it's significant but as far as how many actual like returning viewers like true subscribers I don't I only have about a hundred that's kind of a little over a hundred maybe when it's all said and done of people who actually are watching every video 
Um, you can see a lot of my videos, it's really disproportional. Some videos have, you know, 100 views, some have 100,000. So I don't have a whole lot of people that watch like every video. A lot of people go on my channel and are basically just uh, looking at the, for the t tutorials because that's the main thing I get most of my views off of is tutorials. Um, and I think that reflects kind of the demand on YouTube. People want to see stuff that's going to help them, and tutorials are way more uh, popular than, you know, Clash of Clans, just troll bases and comedy, and even, you know, war at attack strategy and stuff like that. People want to see tutorials like how to have two Clash of Clans accounts on one device, um, how to record your Clash of Clans uh, on your iPhone, stuff like that. So I've kind of met that demand. I, I kind of have a duo channel in a way because I do tutorials every once in a while. And I think a lot of people subscribe just for those, which is why I have a lot of subscribers, but not a whole lot of true subscribers that are watching each video. Um, so my only advice, if you're wondering how I grow so fast, is just if you want a lot of views, do videos that people want to see. And a lot of times that's a video that helps someone. Last question before we run out of time is from Cody Walbridge, and it's who's your favorite clanmate? Uh, good question. Uh, I actually haven't been in One Hive Genesis for that long. Uh, there's obviously some great guys in the clan, and um, shout out to everyone in One Hive Genesis, actually. But the main uh, guy who's kind of helped me through the entire process, kind of starting even back in One Hive uh, Alpha and some of the early One Hive clans as I went through the system, uh, was Smog. So shout out to Smog. Uh, he's probably been the biggest factor in making it a fun time at One Hive Genesis and just my whole experience in the One Hive family. So shout out to Smog. Uh, thanks for everything. But anyway, that's going to do it. We're out of time with the attacks. I hope you enjoyed the attacks in the background. Uh, go ahead and drop any questions you have. I'm probably going to continue this series. So I'll do more Q&A vid videos, you know, maybe once a month or something. So as always, drop your questions on this video or any future videos that you have, and I'll try to answer them. That's going to do it. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.